Melissa stood in front of the mirror, putting the finishing touches on her makeup as she finishes getting ready for an evening on the town. Tonight would be no different from many Saturday nights that precede this one. Her long, dark hair fell down her over her shoulders and down to the small of her back. She pulled the sides of her permed hair up into a barrette so that it seemed even fuller than it already was. She had done this many times before and easily achieved a perfect look that exposed her small ears, on which hung her favorite earrings. She always succeeded in turning the heads of every guy wherever she went and felt that her hair was the key of the attention. It was always taken perfect care of, and she would never dream of having it cut short, even though many people had suggested that a shorter cut would look more professional. The final detail was to slip off her wedding ring and carefully placed it in the back of her jewelry box so that no one would find it. This precaution was just to be safe because her husband was not going to be home as business had taken him away again. As she was driving to the club, the she frequently visits, she did not notice the car that had inconspicuously followed her. The driver of the car was confident of her destination and therefore was able to follow at a distance which would not arouse suspicion. As she neared the club, the trailing car slowed so that he would not be seen as she turned into the club. Melissa walked into the club and noticing the dance floor was almost empty, decided to take a seat at the bar and ordered a drink. She started with this drink and was watching the door for just the right person to take home tonight. As she finished her first drink, a man that she hadn't noticed walked up and asked, can I buy you a drink? Wondering how she had failed to notice him, she responds with, Okay. Steve was well-dressed and handsome, and she knew this would be the one for tonight. The two sat at the bar and engaged in conversation for a while as they consumed a few drinks. As her favorite song comes on, Melissa says, Let's go dance, and they make their way to the dance floor. Several songs go by, and soon a slow song is played. As he holds her close to him and they sway back and forth, he slides his hands up underneath the mass of hair hanging down Melissa's back and is turned on by the thoughts of completing the rest of the plan later tonight, as the dance floor becomes more crowded. As they walk through the front door, everything is just as it was described. The bar was in the back corner of the room. As Melissa excused herself, a few minutes later, Melissa returned in a purple silk negligee with her luxurious hair spilling down her back. As she sits down beside him, he is almost speechless as he hands her the drink he had specially prepared for her, telling her she looks amazing as she begins to sip her drink. After a few drinks, she suddenly feels lightheaded. At first, she just thinks it was because of the amount of alcohol she had consumed. The feeling becomes stronger, and then she loses consciousness. When he saw the sea was completely out, he went to the phone and made a call. Shortly, Melissa's husband, Bill, comes in and says, Well, let's get start. Why don't you set up the video camera? As he goes to get the necessary equipment, Bill comes back to the front room with a kitchen chair, scissors, and a pair of osters he had just bought especially for this occasion. Carefully, he lifted Melissa to the kitchen chair placed in the center of the room and drape her long, wavy hair over the back. Although Bill loved Melissa's long hair, he had always been consumed with seeing it being cut or even doing it himself. However, since they were taping this, Bill thought it would be best if he ran the camera. After Bill started the video camera, he nods to Steve to start cutting. Steve grabs a large handful of the thick brown hair from the left side of Melissa's head and places the scissors close to her scalp. Since Melissa's hair was so thick and so long, the floor quickly became piled with the once beautiful mane. Coming to the right side of her head, Steve is soon finished with the scissors, and the striking mane is now less than three inches long. Steve now trades the scissors for the osters, which he quickly snaps on, and they become alive with a loud buzz. He places them to Melissa's forehead and, with several passes, quickly removes what was left of her hair. Since her head is not quite smooth, Steve goes to the bathroom and gets the shaving cream and a disposable razor that normally would be used on her legs. Steve then lathers her head and proceeds to remove all evidence of hair from Melissa's head. 
When Steve is finished, Bill stops the camera and picks Melissa up and carries her to the bedroom. Bill returns and helps Steve put everything back in place. Bill gathers up the hair from the floor and gives it to Steve in return for his help in carrying out this shearing. Bill then picks up the first length of hair that was cut in the videotape and takes them to the bedroom and places them on the dresser next to their bed. Bill then kisses Melissa's newly exposed scalp as he prepares to leave. As he is walking out, he wonders to himself what he should say when he returns home in the morning.